How should I start this? Uh... All right, so I'm making this video to show Hazel how I peel a grapefruit because she was wondering about this earlier today. And I would just like to start off by saying that I really appreciate the grapefruit spoons. I use them all the time. I even discovered that they're really great for eating mangoes uh, and I eat a lot of mangoes, so I use them. This is not to say that I'm not using those grapefruit spoons. This is just a tutorial to educate the people on how to peel a grapefruit if you don't feel like cutting it up without getting the bitter taste in your mouth. And so I have a close up camera set up so you can really see the full effect and since I don't want this to be boring just a video of me peeling a grapefruit I'm gonna read some Bob's Burgers trivia because why the heck not some good stuff in here step number one of peeling the grapefruit is to wash it I already did that and step number two is basically just go animal on it get the skin off of there and this is probably the most fun part just get all the skin off I forgot to mention that it's good to do this with a trash can, I've got mine right here, but any kind of receptacle, you need that. All right, so now we've got this nice bald grapefruit, and as you can see, it's still got all this nasty skin on it. So what we wanna do is basically just rip it in half, and it's probably gonna be a little bit juicy, just, just roll with it. And now we have two halves of a beautiful grapefruit. And pick which one side you want to start with. Um, and you have to start peeling the skin off. And when you rip it apart for the first time, usually some of the skin comes off to give you a good head start on this. And just throw that in the trash. And then once all of that nice grapefruit meat is exposed, see that right there? Then you grab that with your fingers. And that's a beautiful grapefruit piece. And there you go. So, while I finish eating this grapefruit, I'm gonna read some Bob's Burgers trivia. And you can follow along and see if you know any of the trivia. And then you can school all of your cool friends in France about Bob's Burgers. And I know they don't have Bob's Burgers in France, so this will probably, uh, I don't know, help you get over not being able to watch the best show ever. I don't know. Okay, so these are the IMDB official trivia, so that's how you know that this is correct information. I'm not getting you any bogus trivia, okay? So, trivia number one. To pitch the show to the Fox Network, creators of the show made a rough three-minute demo of the scene where Bob and Linda are grinding meat and Bob forgets their wedding anniversary. The differences between the demo and the scene in the actual show included very different character designs by Jay Howell, Cruder Animation, and the Belchers were originally a family of cannibals, making burgers out of the flesh of their victims. However, Fox found the idea of cannibalism too dark for an animated sitcom, so it was taken out. Although this led to the plot of the first episode where the family is accused by the health inspectors of being cannibals. Interesting. I didn't know that. Next fact. Despite having three females in the Belcher family, Louise is the only female character to be voiced by a woman. Additionally, both of the Pesto twins are voiced by women, Laura and Sarah Silverman. That's uh, Andy and Ollie. Uh, okay, trivia number three. This is gonna be, in the pilot demo of the show, the character of Tina Belcher does not appear. Instead, the eldest Belcher child is a son named Dan. Although Dan's appearance is distinct from Tina's, the two characters are voiced identically by Dan Mintz. So he was originally supposed to play a boy and then they turned him into Tina. Quick interjection about the grapefruit eating. As you can see, it's not an exact science. You gotta get the seeds off. You gotta peel the skin back. And you, it's, it, it really is a little bit savage. It's kind of like picking the meat off of a fresh kill, but that's why it's fun. Anyway, next Bob Burger fact is the daughters Tina and Louise are named for actress Tina Louise, best known as the original Ginger Grant on Gilligan's Island. It was the story of an Indian astronaut. It was called Mohawk of the moon. Yeah, that was the picture. Yeah. Tina is the only Belcher so far to have her middle name revealed. It's Ruth. <sighs> this is not something that you want to be doing if you have any cuts on your fingers or things like that because it's very acidic and my hands are getting very juicy. Um, but if you want the most meat out of your grapefruit, <sighs> this is the way to go. And then you peel the excess skin off. Okay, next Bob Burgers fact. There's actually a Bob's Burgers restaurant chain based in Rio, Brazil, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Bellingham, Washington. That doesn't surprise me. Bob's a very common name. And burgers are a pretty popular food, so... 
Really good grapefruit, really juicy. Just want to take a second to comment on the quality of the grapefruit. It's really, it's really coming through for me today. So, um, the name of the town the Belchers live in is Seymour's Bay, revealed by Lauren Bouchard in Comic Con 2015. And I'm pretty sure the reason why they call it Seymour's Bay is because the guy who edits the show, his name is Seymour, and they call his editing bay Seymour's Bay. And I'm pretty sure that's why they call it that. Anyway, in the opening of each episode where the exterminator van is parked in front of the restaurant for a second, you can see Jimmy Pesto's reflection in the window of the van. Watch for that next time. I've never noticed that. You may feel the need to get up in the middle of your grapefruit eating session to get a napkin as I'm feeling right now. It's normal. This way is very messy uh, for the hands, but it's worth it. Pays off. Okay, I'm gonna switch. All right, this Bob's Burgers trivia kind of stinks, so I'm gonna do How I Met Your Mother trivia because it's more interesting. You ready for this? Okay. Fun fact of How I Met Your Mother number one. The clock in Marshall and Ted's apartment is always set to 420. Smoke weed every day. Uh, there are only 18 times throughout the entire series that Barney shows up without a suit. Like his character, Neil Patrick Harris is a trained magician in real life and He's a really good actor on Series of Unfortunate Events, too. I love that show. Ted has dated at least 29 women who aren't the mother. Jason Siegel, whose character Marshall on How I Met Your Mother brags about once winning a high school slam dunk contest, really did win a high school slam dunk contest. Good for you, Jason Siegel. Now, it does get a little tricky when you're on the last section of whatever half you're on, because then there's not as much um, of the rest of the fruit to support it, and it kind of starts to fall apart. But this came out quite well. That's a great little section. And and just eat it off like it's meat. Really good, really good. All right, next fact. There are 13 interventions done in the series. Neil Patrick Harris made $210,000 per episode while the rest of the cast made $120,000 per episode, wow. Whenever two characters get in a physical altercation, the song Murder Train by Robin's ex-boyfriend Simon's band The Four Skins is heard under the scene. In season seven, one can see Conan O'Brien in the background at the gang's famous McLaren's pub. That's true, he wanted to be on the show, he wanted to be on the show but he only wanted to go on as an extra so he's just in the background of a scene for like one second look at that beautiful grapefruit look at all that grapefruit meat in there it's really good and it just pulls right apart Mm. Let's see, next fact. Um, in, ep in an episode where Barney is challenged to pick up a girl in a bar by calling an ambulance, Carter Bays and Craig Thomas, the creators of the show, can be seen as the actors playing the paramedics. Cool. All right, next fact. Um, as you can see, my hands are pretty juicy and so I'm having a hard time scrolling on the computer. Let's see. Um, oh, here's a good one. Chris Romano, the actor who played Ted's childhood best friend, Punchy, was also a co-executive producer on the show. All right, I'm almost done with this grapefruit here um i think i'm gonna wrap it up on the trivia um i hope you learned some good facts about some good shows and you can use that information in your daily life because it's really important information to have and um i hope that you and adam are having fun in france and um i hope that you utilize this grapefruit technique for your own life and i hope that it brings as much grapefruit into your mouth as it has brought mine and um if you're wondering why i'm wearing a bandana um um, the answer is because I wanted to. So yeah, and show this to your friends because they need to know how to eat pamplemousse in a variety of different ways for a variety of different occasions. And I hope that you like this video. Um, now I'm gonna put in a few good fails. <laughs> what are you doing? We've been ready. We've been waiting for this all day, folks. Ah! Like that. I broke out. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Charlie!